Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll show you how you can hack iOS and Android app using Mob SF. So let's get started. Okay, so over here I'm on my Kali desktop. So basically Mob SF is a mobile security framework. You need to go to your browser and I'll drop this link in the descriptions where you can see that it's a mobile security framework and it is used for pen testers, uh, for manual analysis, security assessment framework, have been of performing static and dynamic analysis. So this can be used for most of the pen testing work, which can show you each and every vulnerability within the app of uh, Android and iOS. Okay, so you need to copy the code. So click on this code and copy the code. Minimize the browser, go on your terminal and get the root access. And then git clone. I already have the command. And there you can see that I have already cloned it. So you need to go inside the directory, which is CD and then tap for water correction. And now we are inside the mobile security framework directory. LS to check the file. You need to run the setup file, which is highlighted in green. So to run the executable file in Linux, you have to enter dot forward slash setup dot sh. Wait and uh, it will install the registry requirement to run this MOBSF. If you receive any error during the installation, uh, so far I cannot see any error on my machine. If you receive an error, so that will be mostly for uh, Python 3.10 or uh, uh, or the latest version uh, VNV, which is virtual environment. So for that, you need to enter the command. It is apt install Python 3.10 hyphen v n v e n v i'll drop the command in the descriptions if you get an error if you get an error uh, so far i cannot see any error on my machine and sometime it will prompt to restart some services so no issue in restarting the services which is like uh, asyntrix dot services color d dot service have gd dot service and uh, metasploit post grsql service dot services so if it pro if it asks you to do so, so just restart the services. Okay, so over here you have to get this message installation complete. So now if you go back to LS, so you need to now run the mobile SF. So for that we will again go for dot from slash run dot sh and there you can see we have to run this within the browser which it is listening at http 0.0.0, .0 into 8000 port so we have to copy this port copy the link address go to your browser and over here paste and go Okay, so over here, we have the environment with our browser, which is mobile SF, and we can upload and analyze an APK or iOS file from here. Uh, make sure you have the permission to upload and analyze the Android or uh, iOS file. So over here, I have already a GitHub link, which I'll drop in the description. You need to download this Android Insecure Bank V2 APK, which is for Android. So just click download and it will download on your machine. I already have a copy of it. So what I'll do it, I'll go to downloads. This uh, app doesn't require any permission. It is uh, made for pen testing uh, to learn in the safe environment. So what you need to do is click on upload or drag and drop anywhere over here. And uh, over here I'll click 
an insecure bank v2 and open it over here and behind the scene if you go to your terminal you can see that it start getting the framework of your android app it's recompiling to the java with the jdex and in a moment you can see the report over here over here it says analyze is already done so it's fetching data from the db if you see over here you can see a quite comprehensive report over here you can see the file name size md5 sh1 and sh256 app information is over here the build main activity and here you can see it have 10 activities over here uh, two receivers and one provider so if you scroll down or if you need to scroll down you can manually scroll down all the way to the bottom or if you can click over here it will guide you through each and every steps like information this is the information portion and then the scan option is a scan options you need to you can rescan it over here start dynamic analysis decompile the code which is in a lot xml apk is signed uh, where version one signature is true version two is signature is false and continue with all the information which you require like signer certification is this one permissions here are the permissions which can be highlighted as status with dangerous you can see this is normal this is dangerous this permission which you need to fix so moving on to android api there is nothing browser activities security analysis if you go to networks there you can show that there is nothing over there in certificates you can see the certificate analysis so like application vulnerability to awareness vulnerability is high and assign application information uh, moreover to the manifest you can see that this severity is high so it will show all in the color coding like boundary analysis and then you can move over to malware analysis where you can scroll through several options followed by reconnaissance where url file based database and emails and trackers comes in and last but not the least if you go to the component you can see the strings and all the way down to the end of the report you can see the meta manifest and with class.tx which is the source file followed by the manifest which is the meta file if you want to print the report you can go for the pdf print or you can print the report uh, physically by printer or save as a pdf so basically this is static analyzer you can also start with dynamic analysis and if you want to see the summary of the report you can click on this mob sf scorecard where it will show you the security score is 30 which is less than 50 percent and uh, risk rating is uh, high which is going grade c and uh, safety distribution is high which is right from the pie and medium and there's no info and no secure and privacy risk is three so if you scroll down a bit you can see that the findings are high and three mediums and zero info secure and one hotspot this dashboard will give you a quick look at what your app is up to so you can fix it accordingly and if you check by the terminal the analysis is already done from fetching the database so this is how you can analyze your android app or ios app but to make sure that to analyze or pen test the app which which you already got the permission or you can find the one like this one on github which is in secure bank version 2 so that was a wrap if you like my videos do share it with your friends and hit the bell icon for future notifications thank you and bye bye